Morning folks, this is uh, Max from Xenomax.com and ACCEvoHacks.com. It's a Saturday morning. Um, we're going to go install the uh, MUI ROM, M-I-U-I. Um, so copy the zip, zip file over, I'll have links to it, to your SD card. I'm going to skip that part, I'm figuring you know how to do that already. And then let's install it into the bootloader. Oh, is it still on? Nah. Not sometimes. Do it right. Never mind that. So I'm just gonna do this. Be easier. Hold down the volume down and then hit the power button. And then um I'm gonna go back up my previous one which is the um my pre previous video of the Evo Zone. Uh, Evo Zone is is awesome. Just uh, like some people point out, Netflix isn't working, and also the screen brightness doesn't change, so it drains the battery like crazy. If you um, you know use that, so I'm just gonna save it for later. But uh, you know, Google Talk video works on that one. What is that? Oh, I just spit on there. Oops. So let me go back up my stuff real quick, and I'll I'll be back. By the way, I'll show you how to do it. Back up, uh, Nandoy backup, and then you can choose boot system data cache. Um, you know, I don't know. And then perform backup. Hit the power button, and I'll be back after I do backup. So backup is done, and uh, let's go install it. Power button to return and then uh, let me wipe and wipe all data factory reset power button and uh, let's go to wipe Dalby cache Dalby cache by the way I moved to my new place finally I have actually my own office um, so I can do more hacks I'm gonna do a bunch of more rams. Before I couldn't do it. Like I could do like one or two per week. So um, I didn't have the space, but now I do, which is cool. Uh, return, flash zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then I'm gonna choose the MUI, the zip file we copied over earlier. Um, that I copied over earlier. I didn't show you, but hit the power button. And it's going to install, so I'm going to leave it alone, and I'll be back when it's done installing. So it's almost done. Um, let me zoom in so you can see better. Um, it's creating something flashing. Got the movie. All right, it's done. Return, reboot system. And uh, we'll see what the movie ROM looks like. Uh, let me see, which user was it? Uh, user FR1J0170. That's a really uh, hard to remember username. Told me to do a review, so I'm doing it. So if there's any other good ROMs you think I should review, uh, please leave in the comment sections below. So, we're booting Saturday. We got the movie. Um, okay, I'll be back. I think this is going to take a long time. I don't want to waste this video. Yay, I got the movie screen now. Movie. Mew, sorry. I keep calling it movie. <laughs> um, I know some people are going to already probably left their comments or like, it's not movie. <laughs> I did a. I did a video of my uh, Canon, <laughs> Canon video camera. People t told me I, you know, it's, it's supposed to be Canon, but uh, Canon. But I like to call it Canyon. You know, it sounds better. <laughs> Mui. So this ROM is officially now Mui, not Mew, or it should be Mew. Anyway, it booted up. It's in Chinese. Um, you just gotta reboot it and it's supposed to uh, get rid of the Chinese. So I'm gonna try to reboot it. I don't know what. The, oh, power button. 
Okay, there's some English there. And uh, once you reboot it, once it, sh it should come up as uh, English. So I'm gonna reboot it and I'll be back. Hi, all folks. So I got the MUI. Um, this is the version. What version is this? Um, MUI version. I think 1.5.20. Anyway, let me give you a quick, uh, quick review of this. From. It's very clean. I like the um, how everything's very clean. And some of the menus are different, like settings. You got the common, personal, system, programs, um, about phone. It's Android 2.3.4. Uh, I can show you. Uh, Netflix works off. Um, works fine on this one. So for those of you who want to use Netflix, <clears throat> this one works fine. Of course, there's no Sprint apps since it's not Sense UI. So that's that's the Netflix real quick. Um, and also, let me do a Limpack test. I don't have anything uh, syncing right now, so it should. Last time I got 35.842. I don't know if you can overclock this. I don't know if the the kernel's been overclocked. Uh, I'll have to find out. But I'm getting about 36 with nothing running, which is pretty good. Um, I've got, uh, let me see, what else can I show you? The menu. Um, oh, you know what? There's there's some cool themes. There's a Steam Manager. Um, see, I've, I downloaded this uh, Android 3.0. Let me apply it. And it's cool, like the, how they made the themes, because you can quickly download and you know to a new theme. Um, Mew, this is the Mew ROM. M I U I. Keep calling it Mui. Da -da -da. So that's applied, and let me show you all these, all these uh different themes you can download. Featured. It's like WordPress blogging. There are so many themes. Um, basic layout is the same, but it's cool. You can just do one click and download. So that's my new theme. Um, there's no 4G, which kind of sucks. But most people don't use 4G anyways, uh, unless you know. But it's very useful if you're in a um, the airport or something and you get full 4G signal, then you would want it. And then now my menus change. You can also um, go to settings. There's uh, Wi-Fi tethering um, already on here, which means um, even if you don't pay for it, you can get it for free. And where is it? Yeah, just like a G2 phone, like a T-Mobile phone. You have portable Wi-Fi hotspot, USB tethering, which is nice. Um, I just wish they supported 4G, which they're working on. Um, this is, uh, so, and here's something different. You don't have the menu button to get all the apps. There's no menu button. This is like call, um, your, uh, contacts, internet, and messaging. And, uh, basically it just gets added on to your, one of, one of your, the last screen here. So... Two, three, four, five, four, four screens, which is a little bit different. But I really like the uh, um, the theme manager. It's a fast ROM. It's a complete ROM. Um, let's check out the camera real quick. Camera, yeah. And uh, so let me switch over to the front camera. Whoa, no, video. Oh, there we go. So the camera front doesn't work. Getting forks closed. That's the only bad part. Which I don't use the front camera that much anyway. Oh, actually, <laughs> you restart it and it works. So this is a, a pretty cool ROM, I guess. Let me try to switch. So for some reason, my video got cut off. <laughs> so I'm continuing. 
Um, anyway, this uh, the camera works fine. It's just that once, you know. I'm not sure. I haven't. I might play with it later on, but I'm gonna go install some other ROMs. Um, but it's working fine now. Back and forth. Uh, the Netflix works. You won't be able to get um, uh, Sprint apps, and also you won't get 4G. If you don't mind, don't mind those things. If you don't get 4G. This is a really good ROM, it's Android 2.3.4, um, so try it out and you can get a lot of themes. Um, and that's it, so I'm going to go install more, more ROMs, so see you later.